And so they had told us on our quiz that this was 80, and we wanted this to be 160, but it wasn't, okay, because this wasn't all the way open. This works a little bit different, okay, this works with chords and sequence, sequence. That was the other thing. Chords go to end point some lines, secants go all the way across, okay, that's the only difference between a chord and a secant, okay? So, if they intersect inside the circle, okay, then you are going to take one half times the arcs that it's involved with. So, if I'm talking angle one, the arcs that we're dealing with are AD and BC. So, we're taking one half arc AD plus our DC. Okay? If I'm dealing with angle 2, that's this guy, right? Which arcs are we dealing with with angle 2? Now we're going AB plus BC. Does everybody see those arcs that are involved? So if we look at number one, AED, that's this guy. Okay, so it's one half times what plus what? 45 plus 29 is one half of 154, which gives me. 77? Agreed. Oh, my goodness, thank you. Right, so how about STR? I want this guy, right? Right, so it's going to be one half of what? What are you, E6? Plus 112, totally looks like 106 up here. So one half of 98 gives me 149 degrees. Okay. So now in four, it gives me the angle, and I'm looking for the arc. So how can I set this up? What's my angle? So 62 equals one half times what's one arc? 74 plus what's my other x? Okay, now my advice to you guys today is when you see this one half right here. Move it to the other side. How do I move it to the other side? Times by two. Okay, so that goes away. I get 100 and. So 1.14 times 74 plus x. x equals 50 even. Not too bad, right? All right, so if, okay, we did those, we did those. All right, if it's on the circle, so if I have a tangent and a secant, okay, it's just one half, it works like an inscribed angle, it's just one half the intercepted arc. So angle one is going to be one half of which arc? Maybe. Okay, and angle two is going to be one half of our B, C, A. Yep, good job. Okay, so if I want D, E, G, if I want this guy, it's just going to be one half of 308, which is 
This one's a little bit different. Now it wants this angle. Okay. We know that these two angles do what? Add up to 180 because they made a straight line. So if this is 192, what's this? If this is 192, what's this guy? 96. Okay. If this is 96, what's this guy got to be? 84. Right here it wants x, y, it wants this little guy. So if this is 151, what's this angle? 29, and if I'm going to go angle the arc, what do I have to do? Not divide by 2, but multiply by 2. So we have 58. Right? So, if they intersect inside the circle, what do you do to the arcs? If they intersect inside the circle, what do you do to the arcs? So, what are you, what are you doing with your arcs? Add them together and divide by two. <laughs> if it's on the circle, we just divide by two. If they intersect outside the circle, okay, you're going to take one half big arc minus little arc. So for this one, you've got one half. What's my big arc? BE minus what's my little arc? BE. Exact same thing here. One half. What's my big arc? VD <laughs> minus little arc. VC. And then here we've got one half. What's my big arc? VDC minus. Okay, so in 10, my angle is going to be 1 half times, what's my big arc? 140 minus 66, or 1 half of 74, gives me 37 degrees. And 11, if this is 88 and this is 62, what is this guy? 210? So I'm on 1 half times 210 minus 62. So 1 half of 148 gives me. All right, number 12. If this is 313, what's this? How are you going to find that? Yeah, 360 minus 313 gives me 41. Okay, I'm not going to make us go through and do that whole thing. Um, we do need to look at a couple of these. 14. What's my angle? 40 equals 1 half times, what's my big one? X minus little one. 75. So I have 80 equals X minus 75. So X is I'm tired today. 
like it. You've got to be careful a little bit when they're asking for little r. Okay? Angle is what? 56 equals 1 half times, remember you've got to go big arc minus little arc. So big arc is 160 minus x. So get rid of that 1 half. We have 112 equals 160 minus x. Now what do I have to do? Minus 160. So I end up with 40, negative 48 equals what? Negative x. Therefore, x is 48. Okay. Be careful with that. Okay. Just because, remember, you're looking for measurements, so your measurements aren't going to be negative. Right? All right. Flip your page. we got to talk about some of these. Okay? Just because these are a little bit harder, so I want to do a few of these before we work. So, number one, okay, I'm pretty sure we can do one, right? What's my, what's my angle? 3x plus 23 equals, how do I find this when they intersect in the middle? One half. Good. Plus 75. Remember, if they intersect inside the circle, you're adding your arcs. Okay? So I have 3x plus 23 equals one half of what? 130 gives me 65. So 3x equals. 22, 22, 42, 42. So x is 42. Okay, not bad, right? Um, look at. All right, so let's look at seven. All right, so CB is 5x. Plus 41, AB is 7x minus 19, and my angle is 89. Okay. So, how are we going to set this up? 89 equals 1 half of x minus 19. 41. So get rid of that one half. We get 178 equals, what do I have for x's? 12x plus 22. And so subtract your 22. 12x equals 156. So x is 13. And if I want AD, what do I have to do? I have to plug it in. Okay. Um, this one we know how to do. This one I'm confident in. 10 I'm good on. All right, we need to talk about Twelve. Flip to twelve. Okay. We need to be careful when we are subtracting. Okay, and this is why. DA is twenty-three x minus fourteen. DD is nine x minus four, and my angle is five x plus eleven. So. Let's set this up. What's my angle? 5x plus 11 equals, careful, 1 half, there you go, 
times big R is minus. Now this is where you have to be careful. You have to minus the whole thing. So minus. I'm going to another set of parentheses. What is my smaller? 9x minus 4. The reason why I'm doing that is because what do I have to do with this minus sign? I have to distribute it. So that 4 is actually going to become a plus. Yeah. Okay, and that's really why I wanted to draw your attention to this. So how am I getting rid of this half? I'm timesing my 2, so I have 10x plus 22 equals, so now I have 23x minus 9x, 14x and then this is